Hello, my name is Donald and I'm a teacher here in Simeo Retrack. Uh, today's short lesson will be about common English speaking mistakes. So these are mistakes that not only English learners make, but also native speakers. So everybody makes mistakes from time to time. The first common speaking mistake is since or for. So one of these we use with a specific time or date and the other is for a period of time. For example, I've been in the USA for four years or I've been in the USA since 2018. So for four years since 2018. Okay. The next speaking mistake is using the past tense twice in a sentence. For example, I didn't went to the party. I didn't ate healthy. Okay, these are very wrong. Uh, it hurts me to even hear it because it's so wrong. The correct way to say it is I didn't go to the party. I didn't eat healthy for lunch. So don't use the past tense twice in one sentence. Okay, the next is less or fewer. So fewer is for countable items and less is for non-countable. An example would be, I have less money today than I did yesterday. Or I have fewer dollars today than I did yesterday. Dollars are countable, money is uncountable. Still versus yet. So still is something that started in the past and continues. And yet is something that we want, but it hasn't happened. For example, are you still watching that show on Netflix? Or have you seen that show on Netflix yet? Okay, the next one is subject verb agreement. This one is tricky because sometimes a subject can sound plural when it's not. For example, one of my favorite kinds of pizza is Hawaiian pizza. So one is actually the subject, not kinds. One is singular and kinds is plural. So our verb needs to be singular. The next is there is versus there are. So sometimes when we speak English, we use there is when we are talking about a plural. That's because it sounds better. It sounds more natural when we're speaking. For example, there's many ways to study English. This is technically incorrect, but the other way to say it, the correct way, there are many ways to study English. Okay, so in a natural way, there's many ways to study English sounds better. So even though it's incorrect, it's okay to use it speaking. The next one is in or to. So when we're talking about traveling, we say to a place. Don't say I've been in the USA. We say, I've been to the USA. Don't say, I've been in France. Say, I've been to France. And the next one is double negatives. So native speakers will sometimes use double negatives when they shouldn't. For example, I don't need no money to have fun. You will often see this in music videos. So this is incorrect way to speak. So uh, it's more slang talk than uh, correct English. So please don't use it. And the next one is repeating the subject. Another common mistake is repeating the subject in a sentence when you don't really need to. My friend, she's coming with me. Okay, we don't need to say she. The correct way to say it is, my friend is coming with me. Okay. 
So that's the end of today's lesson about common speaking mistakes. I hope you can practice them at home and make sure you know the difference and the correct way to say it. Uh, thank you very much. See you soon.